Hey guys, it's Candace Cruz for Red Carpet Report, and we are at the 2019 Ace Eddie Awards in Beverly Hills. Hi, how are you? The two, the two white editors who do black films. Okay. How is that? That's We're right. Yes. Black I love That's that right. I have both. That's yeah. fantastic. What, how, what is that like? What is that like telling a story? You, you made the comment yourself of being a white editor on a black film. Well, is that really different? Is that something? No, it's not like, different. It's I feel like different. it shouldn't be different, it's right? It's just characters. Okay, great. It's Thank just characters. You. How, what's your point of view about yeah. it? Yeah, you're just telling a story the best way you can. You know, in my cutting room, my, my first assistant is African-American. So I would, if I had any things I had questions about, I would turn to her and say, Are, do you agree with this? Do you, does this work for you? So and she would say, what? All right, Cracker, let me yeah. tell you. <laughs> Is that how she talked to you? No, she was actually very nice. She very was actually nice. very nice. She reserved that for later, you know, <laughs> for her friends. I mean, it isn't about telling a story, but also making sure that you do justice and you don't make yeah. it into a, a parody or not making the storyline false in any way. Do you have communications with the director and the actor to make sure that the tone is not right where actor. it needs to be? Not, not the, the actors. actors. Right. Right. You never deal with that. But, but directors, of course, right. yeah. On this movie, we did, you know, Vigo was very involved. Vigo was watching dailies every day. Wow. Yes, so actually, I would actually get wow. notes from Vigo. Really? Yes. Wow. Did he ever interfere and say, I think no, I look better never, in that shot? They were just, they were just, here's an idea. It was never like, you have to do this, but it was really, like, he watched dailies every that day. That is amazing. And what was actually good about the notes is they weren't, like, ego notes. They were really story notes. Yeah. Even if they made him look bad, he would go, you know, I really think of this scene, it should be like this. And I go, okay. And so it was really interesting. Everyone was really involved. If you, Pete is very uh, inclusive. So Pete, any idea, he doesn't care where it comes from. Uh, Mahershala watched dailies too. So we were, uh, everyone was there watching. I mean, we showed cuts to the producers and to the actors during production. So we were very open in an unusual way because Pete likes everyone to be happy and involved and collaborative, yeah. Was that like for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is Spike Lee. Right. You know, what no, like no, no, no. Well, you know, we go way, way back. Yes. And we started out together. So for us, it's very easy to work together. But, you know, what you know, what Spike says is, Spike hears that somebody's in town from the studio or the producer or whatever. He says, he comes in and goes, don't you dare let them into this editing room. Don't you dare. <laughs> and I'm like... They don't call. What are you talking about? Don't you dare. But Vigo yeah. is amazing that he yeah. looked at the footage yeah, at the really dailies. Is. I mean, you know, I think for certain actors, it's really unnerving yeah. for them to see themselves. Yeah, it is. That's pretty amazing that he he's, did that. He's a really great guy and really had, he has great ideas. And he's actually directing a film coming out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so he's got a, he's got. And who's cutting it? Uh, well, they're doing it in Europe, so Vigo, unfortunately. Vigo, I'm a British citizen. <laughs> okay. I know Brexit hasn't gone through yet. <laughs> I feel like I should just hold the mic for you two because it's like amazing listening to you, to you talk back and forth. We do a comedy routine in the evening, so. Done. Easy. I'm there. Do you have tickets? You ready to go? I'll come watch. But what is it? I mean, is there a collaboration across editors? Because it seems like you guys are almost bouncing ideas off of each other about well, how things work. Editor. And so is he. I'm an okay editor. <laughs> You know, and you know, it, when you run editors, well, you know, you get each other. You, yeah. You know what you're talking about. Yeah. You've had all this experience and all these years of doing this job, and you know, yeah. you know, he yeah. said, says stuff, and I say stuff, and we understand. We understand a lot more that's going on in the background yeah. of this statement, you know. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. And then my last question is, you all, you both of your films have been nominated for a lot of things throughout the award season. What is that feeling that you guys get when the film is up there? Because you all have your hands all over this film. You're the last ones to touch it. What's it like when you see your actors win or your directors win or anybody else that's involved on the film? Well, I mean, it's incredibly satisfying. I mean, finally, it's about the work. It really is about the work. Because you never do this stuff thinking about anything by getting the movie right. You don't, you know, but then you're out there and you see other people, whether or not it's the score, whether or not it's the director, whether or not it's the writer, uh, whether or not it's the picture overall. And, and hey, listen, it, it's satisfying. And it's very satisfying for me personally that you get nominated by other editors because editors know 
editors know more and they can judge you in a way that nobody else can judge you. And then you think, well, all right. <laughs> yeah, it's, the, it's similarly, yeah, you, you really don't, you're not editing trying to create something that's going to be award worthy. You're just trying to make, tell the best story you can and try to do it in a way that's interesting and, uh, and captivates people. And then, uh, you know, you're always too close to it to really figure out or to know uh, if it's good or what. You, you need to get people involved and, and, and show it to people and kind of get it out there before people start commenting on it because and it's really hard. Guy, here's uh, the guy that did the Moon no, movie. I don't want to, I said, did I don't. the Moon movie. I see these two guys. <laughs> the the Moon movie. I, I, you know what, but when, I, I didn't want to be that guy just walking over here to crash, but when I see Barry Brown, so he goes, does this, then I'm like, okay. <laughs> I want to do a Moon movie. No, no, I do. No, no, I want to do a Western. I, I'm, I'm, space I'm, seriously, I'm seriously honored to be in, in, uh, in the company of these gentlemen. Me you know, this is, uh, Congratulations yes. to all three of you. That's thank amazing. you so much. And thank, thank you for coming in and talking. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the best time. I'm like, it's actually the whole business. I love it. Too. Oh, this guy, too. This guy. Barry Brown and Patrick and, and me, right? I've known this guy. We're, we're new, old New York guys. You know, yeah. so we were in kindergarten together. Yeah, we were all together. Good to see you, buddy. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, we're older than him. Yeah, a few years. Well, a little bit. A little bit. You know, Crazy Rich Asians. Myron Gerstein. Oh, I could talk to you all day too. I could talk to all of you all day. So. That's why he's here. Yeah, yeah here we go. Here. The Asian it. movie. And the black films and the moon movie. Yeah, exactly. Buy <laughs> <laughs> it all, right? So, nice so thank you all so much. It was thank lovely you. talking to you guys. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below and let us know what your favorite movie of 2018 was.